-hmm. So so you you quit what happens next? I quit and focus on just getting this wedding done. Uh But the wedding needs money. Uh yes, uh or, or so we think. Um we were very clear about how we were going to have a wedding. So I think between Ike and I we only had 530k. That's a lot for a wedding. Um Yes and no. Uh -huh. Depends on what sort of wedding yeah, of, of you, you want to yes. have. Yeah, you're right. It depends on what sort of wedding you want to have. <laughs> and and so for us we were clear our priority would be where we're living after the wedding day. Mm -hmm. So and we we didn't want to have stress about that. Thankfully she was employed. Remember immediately I was having trouble getting employment. Mm. So my income was question was a question mark. Uh so we only had hers to plan with. So we were clear that we had to pay for a year's worth of rent uh by the time we we're getting married so that we're not concerned about the roof of our heads which reduced our budget for the wedding. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely love it. Uh, so and we were okay with that. Uh, we were clear for us the things that matter, the things that matter, the things that don't uh you know they they can they can sulk themselves to sleep yeah uh and i remember having a meeting with the family i think my mom called a family meeting where i think everyone showed up expecting to discuss budgets fundraising and and all that and uh i had heard of gut wrenching experiences by cousins around similar meetings mm and and all the drama that ensued and and the offenses that uh were were meted out on on people by virtue of the fact that so and so is 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 contributing so much money the rights they feel that it gave them to dictate mm. uh what would happen during your wedding i mean i did, i just didn't have an appetite for that nonsense and so i i set the record straight with everyone i told my parents before said I'm I not interested in anyone contributing to my wedding. I have a budget. If I have to have my wedding for 5 bobs, that's what's going to happen. You're all welcome to come. If you don't want to come because it's too shady for you, I respect that. I love you anyway. We'll always be famo. Uh but I'm not taking anyone's contributions uh for my wedding. And that was that and the cricket chapped for a bit i think everyone was shocked uh about what that means because they're not used to that you know the culture mm. here is always mm. everything's communal mm. which i'm okay with what i didn't want was the drama and In the disrespect that yes. typically comes with that and the unnecessary pressure uh the wedding is simply a ceremony to commemorate the coming together of two people mm. everything else is is fluff if you can afford it great do it have a blast uh for us it was important that we could buy our meal the next day and have a roof over our head mm. after it was all said and done and and I, that's what happened we had a we had our wedding and and uh paid for a uh, one year rent in advance which our landlord uh, loved very much <laughs> <laughs> and uh began and, a life yeah, we together began, we began a life uh, together and what day is this this was october 9th uh sorry yeah october 9th 2010 okay yeah so you guys get married yeah you move out of home you guys now live in together in your house yes in Kilimani we took a small one bedroom apartment in Kili uh there's the two of us uh, yeah <laughs> man it was awesome it's sweet uh, good days yeah i mean just a sense of optimism about the future uh, i guess you know i knew i'm a blessed guy either way it's going to end well mm uh, cuz that's what happens when you're blessed mm. uh I, I was full as of of gratefulness and thankfulness. I was home. I was back home, you know. I don't need reasons to be here, you know. I I'll figure things out as I go. And so 
uh, after the wedding, uh, Ike and I had about 150k in savings uh, built up from her jobo and whatnot, we uh, wedding gifts somewhere in cash. Um, I went to Shags to visit my folks once after the wedding. And I, I remember being shocked at the amount of border borders <laughs> <laughs> on the roads. Uh -huh. And I said to myself, this must be a massive economy. Uh, I should look into this. I should own a border border. So I conducted interviews with riders, found out how it works, how they get paid, how they earn money, what the cost of the border border is, which one is the most popular one and why it's the most popular. And uh, we decided to start a border border business. 